Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing the Alanga Unzona Richard Langa Boutique Edition. This is a watch inspired by the longer tradition of scientific and observation timepieces, and it is 40.5 millimeters in white gold, a boutique exclusive as you see it right here, 10.8 millimeters thick, 49.5 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip, with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. The watch is the 2013 model year debut, and as you can see on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, it's a large timepiece by Longa standards, especially by the standards of a Longa watch with no complications. The idea was to create a broad, highly legible dial in a watch that takes after the history of Richard Longa, watchmaker, scientist, and inventor. So the timepiece wears broad and flat, and I'd actually recommend this watch for a wrist no smaller than 15 centimeters circumference. My wrist is 16, and I'm getting close to the limit. It's to the point where those lugs are almost at the edge of my wrist. That said, it is a very flat watch with a domed bezel, so it should slide easily underneath the cuff. The watch has a Large rectangular scale alligator leather strap in black. It's a semi-gloss finish. There's a little bit of bolstering down the center to add volume. It has a monotone stitch and a folded edge, and it is black calfskin on the bottom. It is a longa factory strap in new condition, and we have a longa pin buckle in white gold. So here's how this works. There's a lot to love about this pin buckle. You can see that there is a bridge elevated above the prongs so that when the strap sits inside the buckle, it actually nestles inside it instead of stacking up underneath. That's the advantage of this elevated bridge. And then there's a little retaining bar. So even if you have to use the smallest hole, it's not going to get stuck on your wrist. You know, if you have a smaller wrist and you use the smallest hole or you even punch a smaller hole, sometimes a watch tightly strapped can get stuck on the wrist. And at that point, this little retaining bar saves you from becoming inextricably pinned on the pin, so to speak. So that's why that's there. We have a case flank that's satinated and polished, polished bezel, polished case back, satin mid case, polished lugs. The lugs are broken out from the case band. This is a common feature on almost all longer watches. And you can see the lugs roll of high polish. There's a very subtle bevel on the edge of the lugs. And then the bezel is both vertical and domed, with the domed portion being the larger portion. The crown says Alango Unzona on the side. The dial is very simple, radially arrayed Roman numerals. Roman numerals on a Longa means it is the Richard Longa series. If you see stick indices, that's the Saxonia. If you see Arabic numerals, that's the 1815. We're going to wind this watch up so you can see it in action. The dial is made of sterling silver. It is a solid disc of sterling silver. It is then colored silver white, so it's galvanized to create this color. And then we have transfer of Roman numerals, including a watchmaker's four. And you can see at the quarters, 60, 15, 30, 45, the numerals are blue for a subtle contrast. The hands at center are fired blue steel, so we have alpha hands for hours and minutes, and then a lovely counterweighted lancet style seconds hand. This watch does include center seconds and a hacking seconds function. Once more, the idea being precision, not just precision in timing, but precise reading. So you have a very long hand and a very large calibrated scale. Making this watch larger means that the actual scale on the hash mark spacing can be broader than if it were a smaller dial. There's a little stepped center dial, step downwards, and we're going to flip it over and you can see the movement. And this is Cal L0412. So the 041 is a manual wind, 38 hour power reserve movement. It's on the low end by Longa standards, but it has a couple of special features that make it stand out. You can see that it includes a spectacularly elaborate indirect center seconds system. And that's exactly what you're looking at right there. You're looking at an indirect mechanism that derives drive from the drive train and then transmits it coaxially through the minute and hour hands up to that center seconds display. So this is a very elaborate indirect center seconds. We also have the hacking seconds function, which most longer watches have, but you'll note that the balance is completely free sprung with variable polar moment bolts, and there's an overcoil hairspring, which is a 
feature in tandem with the free sprung balance that you rarely see on longa watches. So the free sprung architecture means the watch will take and hold a very precise regulation and then it will be more resistant to shock-induced timing deviations that can happen when you have a mobile stud index. And then that overcoil hairspring will center the mass of the hairspring, so in almost any position, with a more centered mass, the hairspring is less likely to cause the system to run fast or slow. A overcoil has the most centered mass possible, short of something crazy like a cylindrical or spherical hairspring. Now, it speeds away at 21,600 vibrations per hour. It is adjusted in five positions like a chronometer, and it pivots on 26 joules. All of this is water-resistant down to 30 meters. We have German silver bridges and plates. It is an alloy of nickel, copper, and zinc, with the copper giving it this golden hue. We have black polished screws, as you can see with the case clamp screws, as well as the screws on the swan's neck fine adjustment mechanism. That is itself black polished, as is the cap for the escape wheel. But we have those black polished screws. We also have fired blued screws that have been oxidized blue in a kiln. The watch includes stripes across the bridges and engine turned perlage in several different sizes on the base plate. There's satination on the drivetrain wheels. Then we have a freehand engraved balance cock. This is done manually using a burn by eye and hand, no engines involved. The watch does include mirrored anglage on the edge of the bridges. You can see it lighting up and glinting and gleaming. And then we also have a three-quarter style bridge evocative of German pocket watches made in the 19th and early 20th century by the historical Alango Unzona. We also have several jewels set in golden chiton that are themselves fixed by screws, a nod to the pocket watch era when jewels wouldn't be pressed directly into bridges and plates, but would be pressed into precision gold chiton mounts, and those would be fixed into place using screws, so that's why Longa uses that system. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details of this Richard Longa Boutique Edition.